Hey guys, Tills20 here and welcome back to Border Town. I'm sure a lot of you guys are very surprised to see another Border Town episode. Uh, I'm sure that you probably thought that this series was dead by now. Um, it is not, but it is definitely, definitely close to finishing up. We have probably about three to four more episodes left. Uh, maybe three more building episodes and then we'll piece together a cinematic episode, which I've got some really great ideas for. Um, but then this series is finished. Um, basically, the cities, not city, because there are two of them, uh, they, um, yeah, I mean, they're obviously not functioning like uh, a city should be functioning. They've got huge amounts of problems, which you'll probably end up seeing in this episode. Uh, they're, they're just really not working. And in terms of like expanding out and working on this series, frame rate is just horrendous and the performance and the way that everything is interacting is just very um, clunky and it's very hard to work in. So just in a practical sense, it is really difficult working in Border Town. Um, and then also a lot of the things that I've been working on, um, well, sorry, a lot of the things that I wanted to do in this series, I have already completed. There are a few more things that I want to do, which I'll tackle over the next few weeks. But really, besides expanding out suburbs and doing a lot of things that I've already done a million times in this series, we're pretty much done. So I am really excited to be finishing up. Um, look, to be honest, I loaded up the game sort of thinking that I was going to only record this episode and then a cinematic video and then that was it. Um, but then loading it up and just flying around and looking at the cities from different angles. Um, I got all nostalgic and thought, nah, let's, let's finish this off properly. Let's do a couple more episodes and, um, we'll, yeah, we'll, we'll give Border Town the correct burial that it deserves. And the cinematic overview that I have planned, I think will be so awesome. I'm really looking forward to recording that. Um, but for today's episodes, I really wanted to focus on giving um, Juarez a proper city center. So when I was in Mexico um, a whole 10 years ago, pretty much the first place we would ever go to when entering a new town or a new city was going to the city center. Now, obviously everywhere in like every city and every town has a city center and um, you know they play like they pretty much the cities expand from that one central location um, however in Mexico this was like the place to be uh, so you could always guarantee that every city or town center there was always um, markets or there was like probably like the highlight attraction like the church was always phenomenal or there was, um, you know, some some sort of event happening, and this is where like the majority of people were hanging out and just doing stuff, um, you know. Whereas the city centre of Sydney is just like nothing's really happening. It's just train stations and people running around to go to work, and that's about it. This is probably the same case in Europe as well. Like I'm sure, like city centres in Europe are also like very bustling and full of markets and. Um, always have something on especially if you're like a tourist going in and checking out those um, you know doing some sightseeing whereas like I feel like in Australia that's just not the case and might not be the case in America and some other countries it might be more of like a European thing and um, Mexico obviously being once a Spanish um, colony it um, also like follows the same structure like the city center of pretty much every Mexican city and every town was like so important and so interesting. So I thought it was like really important to create one in Juarez. This is obviously the fictional Juarez that I'm creating. Um, I couldn't actually find a city center in Juarez. I'm sure if I looked hard enough on Google Earth, I could have found something. But this one that I'm creating is, I actually just wanted it to be based on my own experience in Mexico, all those 10 years ago that I was over there. So um, here's some photos of when I was over there. Um, ignore how ratty and I don't even know what's going on with my hair back then. But uh, yeah, I mean, the ideas that I was getting for this city center was more based on my own experience of all the different cities and towns that I went to. And um, I still have like really vivid memory of what it was like and um, the guest like the atmosphere of those areas too. So that is what I'm going to be embedding into this. Uh, I wasn't really going off any particular style, really just trying to go off my own, um, like my own imagination and also my own experiences. So that was um, actually kind of fun. And uh, to be honest, I'm going to be getting to that towards the middle 
part of this episode. A lot of this first part is me just filling in a lot of gaps so that um, we do have more of a city around uh, the center because I didn't want to just create the center and not have anything around it. I think it'll look pretty weird. And um, while we're very loosely on the topic of traveling, when this video is live, I will most probably, not most probably, I will be overseas. Uh, I'm going to be driving around Kazakhstan for about 10 days. Uh, just pretty much rented a car and just driving around the countryside. I have no idea what to expect. Um, I've only booked one hotel and that's when I fly in and then apparently I can just uh, stay in, stay at people's places when, you know, it's like a homestay situation where you basically whenever you stop you can um, stay at people's houses if they've got like a permit or something like that. It's going to be pretty interesting. I'm expecting a lot of girls and a lot of um, wilderness as well, which should be cool. So. Hence the reason why I most probably will be out of reception and won't be able to interact with anything you guys are saying. So, apologies. Look, I might have internet. It's probably can't be any worse than what Sydney is like in terms of internet reception. I've had some pretty dim experiences with internet in Sydney and um, always seems to be far better whenever I go overseas. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. I'll expect a vlog at some stage too because I think um, I'm going to be getting some really nice photography and... Um, cinematics and also just a pretty cool experience just in general so yeah just thought I'd give you a little bit of an update um, in terms of what I've been up to I have mostly just been filling in the gaps and now I am starting to get closer to the center and you can start to see the types of buildings that I'm using so this this is actually a collection of buildings that I'm using so uh, these I think the ones I'm dragging around at the moment these are a building that uh, I'm pretty sure it's like a Rome building, a Rome townhouse. And it's probably like two stories too high for what I really wanted. But the actual asset themselves, the building just is a really beautiful building. And I really like the roof tiles. I think they fit in really nicely with my other roof tiles that I have in um, this area. And um, also the archways too are really, um, yeah, they're really reminiscent of like what it was like in um, the city center of Mexico City. So I wanted to create that and sort of keep that as well. And um, it was really hard to find assets that fit in within this style. It's um, I've obviously got the beard monkey buildings that he created to um, expand out the suburbs. But in terms of the more downtown or commercial side of Mexico, there's really not a huge amount. I'm mostly using assets that's like you could find in the US and um, a couple of Europeans will fit, European buildings fit, but generally not so much. So um, I really just had a couple of buildings to choose from and um, also on that, I the type of church that I ended up choosing, I ended up choosing this, uh, this church that is from Cuba and it's probably not like the closest to what like a, a Mexican church looks like. But I just think that this is such a cool looking church that I couldn't help but use it. Um, even the palace next to it, I believe it's a palace, it could be a museum, I'm not really sure. But I also thought that was a really great fit for um, Juarez too. So obviously there's some a lot better churches I could have chosen, but I honestly think that this is just such a rad looking building, I had to stick it down. I'm never going to be able to place this building again, so I thought I may as well make the most of it. And um, some of the other buildings I'm placing down, you can see some uh, some buildings that are also in the same collection, that um, that Cuban collection, that um, rounded corner building is just so freaking awesome. I really was excited to place that down. And um, there's also some assets, I'm trying to remember the name of them, I think it's a, I think they're called Latin American houses or um, commercial buildings there, the bluish tiled ones that are there. They're um, a really great looking asset too that um, I think fit really nicely here and I've just combined them as well with the beard monkey buildings just to expand out the backyard and what I'm doing right now is I wanted to create a bit of a, uh, a garden for this church. Most probably I probably should have put down like a graveyard at the back of here but I honestly just wanted to build some sort of uh, little garden with that was like more centered around this statue of Mary and 
I also wanted to just have a couple of pathways going through and this was something that I also found in Mexico. There's always like some really great um, little uh, gardens that were very close to these churches and around these central locations that you could kind of like dive in and get away from the bustling sound of the city or town. And um, yeah, I actually really like the way this thing turned out. It's like just like the only little green space that's in this area. Mostly Juarez that I'm building is just, um, yeah, it's quite gray. There's a lot of concrete, but um, this little pocket is just a little pocket of green, which um, I actually really like. And um, you'll see some really great cinematics of it. it. Actually, in fact, the cinematics at the end, I reckon just, they're just beautiful. I'm, I'm really, really happy with how the cinematics turned out. So definitely stick around for them. Or if you're about to bail, then just quickly check them out before leaving. Um, I'm sure if you're going to bail, you probably would have bailed ages ago. Something else that you probably have noticed um, dragging its way through this uh, avenue here is a massive freight train, which um, just comes every now and again. So obviously this, um, this line would only be active probably at night time or just at the, the quietest times of um you know the day so because obviously this this be holding up so much traffic and going right past the central uh the center of Juarez I think would be so impractical so obviously that's that would never happen I don't think it would be so close however I just think that it's a really cool look so I just thought stuff it we're not going to go for realism here let's just place this thing down because I think it's just going to look super awesome and I actually think it does look really awesome. Uh, I really love these trains that go down the center of these avenues and especially this really long one here. So obviously this is taking cargo into the US and um, this is also something that is in Juarez. So this is something that I really wanted to build. I didn't quite get to detail it as much as I wanted to detail it, but uh, you know, I think the, the generalness is there and um, the, the essence of that passing through, I think, um, yeah, I still think it looks quite sick. And I'm um, also creating some markets too. There are just so many markets in Mexico, um, mostly uh, there'll be like food and fresh fruit and this is where you'd get like some of the best um, meals. I think some of my best meals in Mexico were from markets. Uh, I just remember like just walking around the streets and you know, you just be like, oh, I just feel like a taco. And then like you turn the corner and all of a sudden there's like a, a taco stand or a burrito band, uh, stand and oh, man, it's just the best food. I really want to go back to Mexico. Um, not just for the food, but man, that plays a big part in it. Um, so I thought it would be really important to place down a whole bunch of these markets. Uh, I, I just, I just realized something I should have placed down. Uh, Beard Monkey also released a whole bunch of backyard props. Um, I'm pretty sure he released them for this series too, so I'm actually kind of really disappointed I didn't use them, but they're these backyard props that you probably saw around the workshop. There's some pools and there are some, like there's a dog that's laying down and some hammocks. But um, there's also a barbecue grill that he released and I uh, should have totally placed that next to the market. There could have been like some, some like foods um, being cooked up on the sides. I didn't even think about that. I feel like such an idiot. Hopefully I remember to put it down in the next episode, but most probably, actually I'm just writing down a note for myself. There, all right, note has been made. If you're gonna watch the next episode, then um, yeah, make sure you complain if I don't stick one down. Um, what I'm working on now is I wanted to just um, actually make the center just a little bit smaller, make it a bit more of a square, even though it's not a perfect square. And um, I also wanted to place down more of these uh, these Latin American buildings. I'm calling them Latin American buildings because that is actually the name of them on the workshop. And they're obviously like a much older style building. So this is probably like a restored part of the center. These are probably like more true to how the center would have looked. Um, you know, uh, you know, a hundred years ago or whatever. So um, I really love the way this little square turns out and I placed down a couple of props just behind, um, just for the back lots too. And you could actually see me placing down some of those assets that I was just talking about. They are some really fine looking assets. And um, now what I'm working on is I just wanted to create um, just a little bit of a, a tiled look for the, um, for the center, but um, unfortunately, because this isn't like a perfect square or rectangle, I had to um, 
I couldn't actually place down any tiles so I, I decided to create my own pattern just by using these joints um, these joints decals that again beard monkey has created so that bloody legend and um, look they're obviously not centered but just um, just just relax you guys know that not, nothing that I do is perfect or is completely centered and um, look just to really make you OCD guys even more angry <laughs> I've decided to place my planters um, not going in the same direction and just intersecting my squares that I've created so this is actually just a plaza that is really probably um, grinding people in the wrong way so apologies I really was um, stuck when it came to things that I could place down because we are really just in a strange um, angled um, area that I was working on I actually probably could have created a much uh, I probably should have made the joints follow a different road the, maybe the main road would have been better but you know whatever I think it still looks pretty cool and um, I think from different angles that works a lot better um, but yeah these custom planters I just wanted to um, create some uh, some plants uh, so some gardens that were a little bit more custom and also having a lot of areas for people to sit down because like I said before these these central um, areas are so bustling with people that I wanted to make sure that there was like lots of places where people could hang out um, lots of different things happening around the center too um, I don't usually create very many town centers because I guess it's probably um, probably more prominent in European countries but I um, had a lot of fun creating this one and I um, wanted to just continue that style that I'm going with for whereas just making the surface really cracked up and um, a bit more worn and a bit of the um, a bit of nature creeping up as well so you can see it um, yeah some tufts of grass grass is coming up through some of those cracks too which I think just creates some really great looking um, yeah some great looking realism too and like I said this is probably not even realistic I'm sure the church is probably facing the wrong direction or the uh, the center probably doesn't look anything like a Mexican one but I really just wanted to create something that I um, you know wasn't going to try to create completely from Google Earth which um, I have been doing quite a lot of in this series um, I really just wanted to do this from my own uh, my own experiences even if they are like 10 years ago uh, yeah I just I just thought it would just make for a bit more of an authentic um, square and um, do let me know if you think so um, if, if you're Mexican or if you have been to Mexico please let me know if I have like just completely missed the mark um, that could totally be the case and um, just to finish things off this is um I think this makes a huge difference and I'm just so annoyed that there wasn't a white flag because um what I wanted to do is I want to create this um like some flagged areas that were in the Mexican flag colors um, unfortunately there wasn't a white one so I had to use yellow instead which probably gives it a bit more of a ruster look but um yeah from different angles it does actually just look like it's white um, I might even go back and change it to multicolored I'm not really sure but this was something that was really prominent in a lot of squares and a lot of alleyways there were these colored flags and they just looked so great and um, yeah I just really wanted to do that in this one too but guys that is pretty much it for this episode I hope you've enjoyed it um, let me know what you think about it and if you are um, if you have any suggestions for some future builds in border town we have three more episodes left so hit me up if you have some ideas if you've liked this video then leaving some feedback um, even if you're just rating up the video then that would be awesome so thank you for doing that if you have um, but until next week have a great one and I'll see you in the next video bye